This was the week where we learned that the Democratic leadership is faker than Santa Claus because at least the imaginary fat man delivers. Mm -hmm. Because we learned this week that the Senate will not pass even the stems and seeds version of the Build Back Better Act before the end of the year. Um, early in the week, the earlier midweek, this is what we were getting. Uh, Democrats' hopes dim that Build Back Better will pass before the new year. And according to two congressional sources, uh, a vote could be delayed until March. The sources asked to speak anonymous, anonymously in order to provide frank assessments of internal discussions. Um, Manchin blew off a reporter about child tax credits, claiming that he was for them. So that's sort of where we were until Sunday. And Sunday, uh, Manchin went on to Fox News and said this sort of very loudly and proudly, despite some of the things he's been saying behind the scenes to the contrary. Take a listen. If I can't go home and explain it to the people of West Virginia, I can't vote for it. And I cannot vote to continue with this piece of legislation. I just can't. I've tried everything humanly possible. I can't get there. Oh, what a coward. <laughs> I've tried coward everything to do that. humanly possible. <laughs> but also to do that, like, it, that's like when you know you, like, somehow... Uh, you make sure to get someone's voicemail to say you're like, like your stand. You, you, you want to do your stand, but you do it like in the most like sideways way. That's not mm -hmm. even really a stand. It was a plan the whole time. I mean, the only thing I'll say is that the, 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 the sort of performance of like media's relate or DC media's relationship with these stories is not this is decades and decades old of sort of telling the story of this is going to happen and this is going to come together and this is the week it's going to happen and this is the projected deadline and they're missing this and this is a holdout this is like yeah i've been hearing this since i was aware of news so yep. none of this surprises me that they water it down they punt it they disappoint the left as usual and also the misplay that the economics idea that if all you're doing standing there in 2022 is going, we got you these sort of paltry watered down things that are going to help your pocketbook negligibly or maybe somewhat more than negligibly. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, hugely, uh, the other uh, huge, let's say hugely it, it, the people take, when someone gives you a check for Christmas, you think about grandma for about four seconds. And then you take the check and you take the money and you go do something with it. And I feel like this is one of the problems with like where they think their votes going to come from it, 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 when they have not done any of the social responsibility of voting uh, uh, rights and issues that matter, even just taking a stand on them in order to press it into the record uh, who stood against it, I guess is uh, what's most disappointing to me besides this obviously predictable thing that was going <laughs> to Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I mean, Go I ahead, would say Molly. one thing about the mansion stuff, which is, I don't think, I mean, there was a lot of like DC people this morning saying Manchin didn't tell them he was going on Fox News. Manchin never gave them a heads up. Fucking bullshit. I mean, last week, am I allowed to curse on here? Never yes, mind. I'm please. <laughs> um, but last week, uh, the White House mysteriously pivoted from BBB to voting rights in the middle of the week they said all right voting rights is the most important thing we'll pick up bbb later right obviously they didn't do that people were like this is so odd i wonder why they're doing this they did this because they knew mansion was a no yeah look mansion gets dividends from coal stocks mansion is got all sorts of compromises you know he's compromised in a million different ways but mansion represents west virginia which is this very red i mean it fundamentally goes back to very this idea small, very state. small, right? Yeah. But that we have these people in these red states who vote against their own interests every single time, right? Yeah. Like yeah. Mansion. So this was a win for him because he could go on Fox News and say, "I'm I made the decision to stop the Democratic agenda of giving yeah. my people free glasses because they don't need that. They're the second poorest, you know, state in the country." I mean, this is you know the larger problem is that. These people vote against their own interests every single fucking time. Right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And and they there it's like two hundred and ninety thousand of them. Yeah. And right. there's eighty one million people who voted yeah. for Joe Biden and right. an a democratic agenda, which is the Build Back Better Act, which absolutely 
would deliver for the American people, if nothing else than extending child tax credits, expanding Obamacare, yeah. um, uh, universal pre-K, huge, huge, huge programs um, but that sadly sunset, but they are better than nothing at this point. Um, obviously, the climate stuff, this is huge. And I just, it's very funny to me, though, that like, despite everyone saying you got Pelosi saying Manchin's going to negotiate. You've got Joe Biden saying Manchin's going to negotiate. You've got Chuck Schumer saying he's going to negotiate. You've got Pramila Jayapal, the leader of the Congressional Progressive Caucus, swearing up and down that, yes, he's going to come to the table. And then this, I've tried everything humanly possible. Like it's the equivalent of sucking his own dick, which honestly, that's what he's been doing in yeah. front of our faces for like six months now. But um, the White House... Still is upset. They're mad. Jen Psaki or Saki, if right. you will, Saki, has said <laughs> they, they're mad. Um, this is from from the White House saying Senator Manchin came to the White House on Tuesday and submitted to the president in person a written outline for a Build Back Better bill that was the same size and scope as the president's framework and covered many of the same priorities. While that framework was missing key priorities, we believe it could lead to a compromise acceptable to all. Senator Manchin promised to continue conversations in the days ahead and to work with us to reach that common ground. If his comments on Fox and written statements indicate an end to that effort, they represent a sudden and inexplicable reversal in his position and a breach of his commitments to the president's and the senator's colleagues in the House. And the Senate. Do you think that this is a strategy to, since everything's about ego and about who gets the prestige, do you think that in the coming weeks after the holiday, what will come forward is a new version of the BBB that is mansion spearheaded, that then frames him as sure. the savior and therefore uh, uh, mitigates the, the disappointment of what's pulled away and then in March, they get to, or April, whatever, they get to this passage, hoping that the momentum of this passage carries them into the summer. And they're able to then promise forward in 2022 and 23 and four that they're, they're going to get to these more uh, existential issues. Because the I, I can's don't think been Manchin, kicked, right? I, yeah, I don't think Manchin is going to back anything. Honestly, right. I don't think- I'm just I think curious. I don't March. No. I, I think he doesn't, he wants to be the hero uh, or the villain. Um, he just wants to be the center of attention. But I definitely yeah. do not think, and if this is any indication, that he will support literally anything. But, like, but they, progressives have been willing. Like, Pramila Jayapal, right. all the Democrats, they're like, if you want to be the hero of this legislation, fucking do it. They've been willing and handing yeah. him the ball. And he's like, no, but, see, the thing is, he I doesn't like want that people. stink pie. But, he wants yeah, his but, own stink pie. But you know what I would say? It's like, these Democrats are still acting like Democrats. Yeah. And if we had a fucking, if we didn't have Chuck Schumer and we had a Mitch McConnell in there, they would have Trent Lott, they, like Trent Lott, they would have fired the po parliamentarian. They could yeah. fire the parliamentarian. No one would even, it would be a week of news. You fire her, you replace her with someone who will put immigration in. I mean, remember the last parliamentarian, the Republicans parliamentarian put Arctic drilling in the reconciliation. There, this is bullshit. There yeah. are no rules. The person is just like, Mrr. you know, they're making it up as they go along. So fire her. I mean, why do you even need her? Think, try to, I would love it if we could get Chuck Schumer to just pretend to be like half the guy, Mitch McConnell. And I'm no fan of Mitch McConnell, but the man got three Supreme Court seats. Yeah. I mean, he is, because he doesn't play ball. And by the way, if Democrats were smart, they would go to Wyoming they would move some people there. They would start running candidates. You know how many people there are in Wyoming? You know, it's like a couple hundred thousand people. I mean, yeah, there are yeah. more people in on my block, you know, in my apartment building. So you're I mean, saying essentially that you could, through the budget process, get a lot of this stuff done. Of course. But because, yeah. Of course. And the There's parliamentarian no is... Of course, unnecessarily, like the Wizard of Oz. Well, they a, blame yeah. they use the parliamentarian to to they use the parliamentarian for cover for things that they also maybe aren't as interested in actually exercising. But sure. also and, they, they and they use, use Mansion for cover, but they yeah. also use their own incompetence for cover. I mean, well, that's there's sure. a fair amount of just fucking up here. I mean, yeah. I don't 100%. think that, and know, this is why. And I want to go to this next like piece of this, which is as we all know. The entire plan um, to get Mansion across the finish line on Build Back Better, even at that 1.75 uh, lower amount of money, again over 10 years, 
was to hold up the vote on the bipartisan infrastructure bill um, and to say, all right, well, we will vote for that once the Senate passes the Build Back Better Act. And Manchin and Cinema have to get on board with that and using a little bit of leverage. And through the course of, I don't know, browbeating the left into saying, no, 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 I promise we can get this done. Schumer and Pelosi promising people like Pramila Jayapal that they will get this done if we decouple that and don't use the leverage. Um, that was the point for me that they completely gave it up and they mm -hmm. weren't able to deliver it. And there were six Congress people, squad members, right? AOC, Ayanna Presley, Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan Omar, um, uh, Jamal Bowman, and Cori Bush, who did not vote for that uh, bipartisan infrastructure bill, hammered by a lot of centrists being like, you hate roads, hammered for it, and their no vote passed anyway. And look what happened. I mean, they, the there is no more leverage, and Joe Manchin and Cinema will not come to the table. That's it. It's done. But, yeah, except the only thing I would say is it's never done, right? Yeah. I mean, they can do whatever they want. I mean, there's mm -hmm. so much. I mean, we are, you know, whatever. We're watching this and we're in horror. But they can do whatever the fuck they want. I mean, we have the right now. Democrats have the White House, the Senate, they have Congress. They don't have a huge margin, but. If they, you know, think about what Mitch McConnell would do in this case. Think about if you had like a, you know, a Carl Rove or a, you know, Dick right. Cheney. Those guys would not be asking people how they fucking feel. They would be, you know, they'd be slamming it in. They'd be, you know, totally. killing innocent women and children in Iraq. <laughs> anyone and, strategic on the Democratic side. Right. I mean, if we had yeah. anyone and the fact, you know, oh, we're, you know, no, offer cinema something huge for Arizona. Offer, you know, I mean, you know, yes. Look, Manchin is not anybody's idea of a delightful democrat the way we like democrats but he's the only democrat we're ever going to get from west virginia so you offer him a big coal plan or whatever it is he wants and you just get it done i mean the idea that we can't you know that the president can't control these people of course he can control them he may have to make terrible deals with them but that's what's you know, interesting though molly is that i feel like I mean, I'm not on board with like offering him a coal plant, but I do feel like that's right. what corporate Democrat and Democratic leadership are already doing. That's they agree. Well, they're not. They no, but they're obviously strip, not. But let me just say they're they're right. they agreed to strip the entire climate, you know, uh, proposal to basically hold any corporations accountable for their emissions, for the carbon, like any kind of carbon tax. OK, that's gone, 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 gone. We'll get it to the place that you want it. And he still he still won't vote for it. It just, he handed them their ass. He outplayed them. And I mean, so, I don't, I still don't believe he outplayed them. I think that, you know, maybe that, I, I think that there's a level of incompetence on Democratic leadership and that's where it's going. Because this guy is not, if he wanted to, if he wanted to become a Republican, he could caucus with the Republicans tomorrow. Yes. Right? It's I mean, like that's where he's headed. No, because no, no, he, he's first of all, he'll never that. get reelected as a MAGA. Because yep. he'll never, he'll get creamed. No way. Yeah. And the other thing is he's not, there's no, in, he doesn't have the interest in it. You know, he's getting away with everything. He's the most powerful senator. He goes to the Republican side. Nobody gives a shit about him. And then mm. they, they primary him. I mean, I don't mean to so be this like. this is his last stand to be relevant. He's like, I'm it's somebody. Just this, right. This it's is a lot TikTok. of power. <laughs> I, I mean, I agree that they have to get more serious about climate and they have to. But the truth is there are deals that they could make if they wanted to make them. The idea that they're powerless over these two senators, I yes. think, is preposterous. And I think 100 percent. And, and I let. This, oh, sorry. Sorry. Go on. Oh, I was just going to say, um, I do think I started this show by talking about, uh, you know, 35 year old presidential candidates. And I do think like Schumer better watch his ass because honestly, he is he's been trying to sort of pander to progressives, tweeting a lot about, about you know, eliminating right. student debt. But my God, I mean, if there's any. If there's any like green light for AOC to make a run at his seat, I think it's this. If he doesn't but, get it done, and I also, what do you want to say? Sorry. Oh, oh, I just, I just uh, wanted to say that I, I think that the dysfunction is also rooted in patterns of strategy that have not worked for a very long time now, uh, except to eke out just the barest of wins, and then not, and then not really have. I think as Molly's saying, the 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 cojones. strength, the cojones uh -huh. to 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 actually 
uh, advocate for that power. And then part, part of it is that you don't have enough scrupulous or unscrupulous. What is it? Scrupulous people to who I think that um, uh, are willing to be publicly that, um, you know, like Dick Cheney didn't care what you thought of him. Right. That's right. the whole point. And I don't I think Democrats have a do you like me thing. Oh, and, yeah. and the thing that's really d frightening to me is that this blind spot and people go, well, how can't you see what's coming down the road and the potential violence down the road and the sort of just psychic uh, chaos that's happening in this country that is not even close to coming to a head yet? Um, that that uh, how can this party sit idly by as this seems to slip away? And I think that part of the calculation Manchin makes and some of these people make is that four years under Trump was, I guess we say bad, right? Was bad. But was it was it that bad for them? And so they start to go, well, OK, if we can play ball with these people who are nutty and have a nutty fringe that is violent, whatever, but they're quiet if they're people in charge. I think people are making very cynical decisions, looking at what kinds of corruption could be locked in to your career that would not face the oversight of the good guy party that's afraid to lead. And I think mm -hmm. there are a lot of people making calculations right now about the the fact that you have a team right now on the on the field that does not look like it can drive it home at all in 22. And I don't even think people have to worry about some uprising in 24. I think that that the Democrats might not even make it remotely across the finish line in the mm -hmm. presidential race. And this idea of like an apoplectic election like 2020 is going to even happen. And so uh, to me, I, I think that everyone's sitting idly by because they think they can make a deal with this sort of nightmare that it won't be as bad as we think. And of course, mm. I think it will be way, way worse. You mean you mean another a Trump variant, the Trump 2.0 or Trump himself? <laughs> Listen, if he survives the next couple of years, the way he looks, he'll be running and he'll he's, he'll be running. There's no <laughs> doubt he'll run for president. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.